Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust, and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. We are living in a time where Israelites all over the world must be bold as a lion. We cannot allow ourselves to let the kingdom of darkness manipulate us into trading our glory for the lesser. The indigenous black people are the only groups of people accepting the crumbs from the heathens. Most indigenous black people reject the promises from the Most High. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. The heathens' temptations should have no value to you. The material possessions the heathens offer you in exchange to submit to them must be rejected. Israelites, there is nothing the heathens could offer you that could replace what the Most High has prepared for those who love him. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. If Israelites understand the abundance the Most High is preparing for them, none would trade their glory for the lesser. Whatever the kingdom of darkness is offering you to betray your Elohim could never compare to the life the Most High is preparing for the remnant of his people in eternity. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Every Israelite will be tempted by the kingdom of darkness to trade their glory for the lesser. This will happen multiple times in your life. The temptations from the kingdom of darkness are appealing to the flesh. Satan will give you the desires of your heart to bow down and worship him. One of the many reasons the Most High sent Yeshua to teach us how to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. If we follow the Messiah's example of his obedience towards the Most High, Israelites will live a good life among the heathens. Satan tried to tempt Yahshua in many ways. The scriptures reveal the ways Satan tried to get Yahshua to disobey the Most High to follow him. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, Command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. These were some of the ways Satan tempted Yahshua to turn on the Most High to follow him. Israelites, if the Messiah was not exempt from the temptations by the kingdom of darkness, you are not exempt from Satan's temptations. You must understand the ways Satan will come to rob you of the many blessings the Most High reserved for you. Here are some examples Satan used to tempt Israelites to reject the Most High in the awakening. The doctrines of devils are one of the most effective ways Satan is deceiving Israelites. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Many Israelites uphold the doctrines of devils. The doctrines of devils, such as you are what your father is, glorify the flesh. All temptations from the kingdom of darkness gratify the flesh. Many sons of Israel gravitate to you are what your father is and lose their way in the awakening. The doctrine of devil, you are what your father is, activate the spirit of lust. Many Israelites are deceived into believing they are making Israelite children with heathen women and men. The word of the Most High command his people not to marry the heathen women and men. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. 
for they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and destroy thee suddenly. If the Most High command you not to do something, that means you must obey the Most High and do as he say. The Most High did not give his people a choice to marry heathens. He said not to marry the heathen. Going against the will of the Most High is sin. Sin separate you from the Most High. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Lusting after the heathen women and men is sin. That is temptation from the kingdom of darkness that many Israelites cannot resist. King Solomon was the wisest man in his generation, yet he lost his ways because he could not resist the temptations from the kingdom of darkness. Due to King Solomon's disobedience, our nation was divided into two kingdoms. Ten tribes out of the twelve are known as the northern kingdom of Israel, the house of Israel, the Gentiles in some scriptures, and the children of Israel. The other two tribes became the southern kingdom of Judah. I dislike associating this word with our people, however... The synagogue of Satan invaded our history book, the Bible, inserted themselves into the scriptures to steal the identity of our people. I must use this word to help our people understand. The southern kingdom of Israel is also known as the Jews in some scriptures. Keep in mind, Israelites, you are not Jewish nor a Jew. That name is the name Satan chose for his people. Satan's people are called after his name. The Most High called his people Israelite. That is what you are, Israelites. You are named after the progenitor of our bloodline, Jacob. The Most High changed Jacob's name to Israel. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. The Most High always name a bloodline after the Father. The doctrine of devil, you are what your father is, come from the tradition of the Most High naming a bloodline after the father. Satan took our customs, added lies to create you are what your father is. Satan is tempting Israelites in multiple ways, personal attacks to global attacks. The indigenous black people keep accepting the kingdom of darkness temptations, believing that it will improve their conditions. Intimidation is another way the kingdom of darkness is tempting Israelites. The kingdom of darkness loves to threaten your livelihood to get you to submit. Many Israelites rely on their slave jobs to make a living. Many do not believe the Most High could supply all their needs. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Israelites, if the Most High say he could supply all your needs... Let him supply all your needs. The words of the Most High will not return to him void. It will do what he sent it to do. That is why you must speak the word. You do not have to submit to the workers of iniquity to get by. When you depend on the beast system, you lose all your rights as a human. The Most High will provide. There is no good thing the Most High would withhold from those who walk uprightly. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. The kingdom of darkness love to threaten the people of the Most High in the form of taking away their wages to enforce submission. Nick Cannon is a great example. The synagogue of Satan did not like what he said. In order to get him to comply, they took away his wages and publicly humiliated him. The synagogue of Satan who run all social media platforms do not like what the Most High is revealing through me. The workers of iniquity believe if they restrict this channel, I would comply. YouTube and I have been going through this for six years and counting. Israelites, you cannot let the kingdom of darkness intimidate you. Stand firm. The synagogue of Satan wants me to submit to their wicked terms and services by labeling the truth as hate. In addition, support their lying history. Dear members of the synagogue of Satan, hate is not when the people are talking about your demonic behavior. Your behavior is hate. Also demonic, barbaric, and diabolical. 
I know you are allergic to truth, just like your father. Don't be mad when you are called after your father. You have the same characteristics as your father, Satan. In this instance, you are what your father is. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Being bold as a lion is being able to continue the path the Most High set for your life without fear. Despite of their threats, restrictions, and many other devilish things they do to intimidate you, the Most High has the final say. In addition, the Most High will fight for those whose heart is after him. I have witnessed this in my life multiple times. The Most High will show up and fight for you when you least expect it. Israelites, trust me when I say the Most High is pleading the case of his people who walk uprightly. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Vengeance belongs to the Most High. Yah will fight for those he loves. The kingdom of darkness can strip you of everything to destroy your life. The Most High can restore and give you double for what you lost. Serving the Most High in the spirit and in truth brings the favor of the Most High into your life. The scripture said if you lose your life for the Most High's sake, you gain your life. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel's, the same shall save it. The Most High can restore and he will restore. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. Too many Israelites are blinded by the affairs of this world that they cannot see the Most High behind the scenes protecting and providing for them. If the kingdom of darkness could eliminate the indigenous black people, by now they would have. A greater force is fighting on your behalf. Do not lose sight of the Most High. Some Israelites believe they have no choice but to comply. The kingdom of darkness will convince Israelites with little faith there is no one pleading their case. That is false, Israelites. The angels of the Most High is in camp around you to deliver you. In addition, the Most High has given you power over the entire kingdom of darkness, and by no means could they hurt you. Behold. I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Israelites, you have access to the army of the Most High. Many Israelites have allowed the kingdom of darkness caused them to lose sight of the Most High sovereignty. Trials and tribulations serve for many purposes. Just because it appears as if the beast system is winning, this does not conclude they are winning. Israelites, you live among the dead. The times of the heathens will soon end. There is a season for everything under the sun. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under the heaven. Israelites, when you are on the path to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth, Satan will come to tempt you with the desires of your heart to separate you from the Most High. You must stand your ground. In order to achieve great success in the beast system, you must serve the kingdom of darkness. If I were to support the doctrines of devils by the kingdom of darkness, uplift the imposters who stole our identity. If I supported the head leaders of the synagogue of Satan, the mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church, my channel would have exploded and would be in everyone's recommendations. Because I refuse to submit to the kingdom of darkness, my channel is restricted and shadow banned. Only the ones the Most High sent will find his anointed and will fellowship with the truth of the Most High's words. In addition, they will find the bread of life that will help nourish their spirit. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Israelites, understand if they persecute the Messiah and the prophets before us, they will do the same to this generation. The tests come by how you react to their intimidations and temptations. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. 
You must be bold as a lion. You cannot be afraid to lose it all. The Most High can restore everything the kingdom of darkness has stolen from you. The life of Job in the scripture is an exceptional example of being tempted to the maximum degree. Job lost everything, including his children. Because he did not fall for the kingdom of darkness, temptations, and lies, the Most High restored everything that he lost. Job did not trade his glory for the lesser. Job trusted the Most High to change his situation. Job received a double portion for his loss. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. We need more Israelites with integrity like Job. Too many Israelites are selling out to the kingdom of darkness. Some trade their glory for fame, others for money. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Israelites, do not allow yourself to be bribed by the kingdom of darkness. Satan wants you to believe you are alone in this walk. Satan wants you to believe because the Most High appeared to be silent that Yah has forsaken you. The Most High said he would never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Too many Israelites in the beast system are selling out to the kingdom of darkness. The workers of iniquity offer the indigenous black people a few dollars. They take the money and sell out their people. The pattern of the indigenous black people selling out their own to become one with the serpent seed is a repetitive cycle that occur in every generation. It is time that black people break this evil cycle of destruction. Regardless to what you do, the heathens will never accept you. They pretend to involve you. Your opinion does not matter to them. The workers of iniquity deceive the indigenous people to believe they have a seat at the table. Your opinions does not count when you are the only indigenous person at the table. Do you really want to have a seat at Satan's table? Israelites, you have a lot to lose if you accept the temptations from the kingdom of darkness. The Most High will reverse his people's captivity, just as he delivered his people on multiple occasions in the past. There is no need to sell out. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. The fate of Judas Iscariot, who betrayed the Messiah, is the same fate all indigenous people who betray their own will suffer. Israelites, while you wait on the Most High, stand firm. The scripture said the wicked flee when no one pursues. The righteous are bold as a lion. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. The workers of iniquity flee when no one is pursuing them. They live in fear. When Israelites are bold as a lion and refuse to back down from the workers of iniquity, many of you have witnessed how quickly they shut down and back off. In the spirit realm, when the Most High give you victory over the unclean spirits, do you see how weak and feeble they are? Some do not make eye contact with you. When you overtake them, they are fragile and you destroy them instantly. The unclean spirits want you to believe they are scary to intimidate you. If you don't know that the Most High has given you power over the entire kingdom of darkness, when the workers of iniquity come to invoke fear, many become afraid. That is how Satan is stealing from many. Israelites, you perish for a lack of knowledge. Use the authority the Most High has given to you. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the Lord thy God, I will also forget thy children. Israelites, you are strong when you are submitted to the Most High. You gain unstoppable power when the Most High is with you. The workers of iniquity know this. That is why they take great measures to keep you separated from the Most High. The Most High will walk with you everywhere you go. However, you only have access to this great power when you serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Israelites, the heathens would never allow you to influence them to abandon their idols. The heathens will serve their idols wholeheartedly. 
How many of you can influence a Christian evangelical to forsake white Jesus? The heathens would never allow the indigenous people stop them from serving their idols, nor would they give up ruling to submit to the indigenous population. The serpent seed fight hard to maintain their stolen identity and power. The heathens give you the illusion of wanting to have equal rights with you. However, their behavior reveal how much they want to destroy you. Likewise, Israelites, we should not allow the workers of iniquity influence us to forsake the Most High. Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, What iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they are gone far from me, and have walked after vanity, and are become vain? Being bold as a lion increases your faith. You must trust the Most High when all odds are against you. The trials and temptations you face when the kingdom of darkness want you to submit to their ways are temporary. When you go through devastating times, the Most High would show you how he can change your situation. Job in the scriptures is a good example of being tempted by the kingdom of darkness and standing your ground. Israelites, a time is coming when you have to stand firm in the Most High or submit to the kingdom of darkness. That time is now. If you've been paying attention, you cannot fellowship and move as you please anymore. The so-called pandemic serves as a prison sentence for many. The kingdom of darkness is making it harder for everyone to exist. Our lives have been greatly impacted with the biochemical warfare the workers of iniquity unleash on the people. Presently, the kingdom of darkness has encroached on our lives, making it difficult to live our everyday lives. The synagogue of Satan is speaking lies to the people to control their every move. At the same time, they are criminalizing people like me for speaking up. They want to make it difficult for you to interact with other people. The workers of iniquity are making decisions for you. You cannot choose for yourself the people to watch, subscribe, and follow on social media. The members of the synagogue of Satan are filtering through social media and restricting everything that opposes their agenda. Before you can decide on whom to follow online, the kingdom of darkness selects for you. The kingdom of darkness has placed heavy restrictions on our lives. Many are sitting around and doing nothing. The kingdom of darkness is plotting its next move while the indigenous people are acting a fool on social media to keep themselves entertained. Some of them have no idea of the terror at their door. Israelites, it is important that you understand the times we are living in. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. I pray and hope every Israelite in the awakening will stand firm with the Most High and trust him when the workers of iniquity come knocking at their door to force them to do as they say or die. I pray many of our people will believe the Most High when they endure strong opposition from the kingdom of darkness. The scripture said if you lose your life for his sake, you gain your life. Now is not the time to become double-minded, Israelites. Examine yourself to find out what's in your heart. If what you discover in your heart does not satisfy you or the Most High, ask the Most High to cleanse your heart. We need Israelites to stand their ground and look Satan in the face and say, As for me and my house, we will serve the Most High. You are Israelites. You are made to be bold as a lion. And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped to the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens.